Here we're in Unity and we're looking at an environment where I've put down uh, a bunch of trees and also some flowers which I've placed in a landscape. Now if we take a look at these flowers, uh, what's interesting about them is that, it, well, if we, if we play the scene itself, you'll see that they actually sway in the wind, or they blow in the wind. Uh, and then also, if you look at them very carefully, you'll notice that they look pretty good, but you'll notice that they're actually uh, pieces of geometry that are always facing the camera. And this geometry uh, is simply a plane that has a uh, material applied to it that has transparency on it. And that's how we get the illusion of uh, this kind of grassy, flowery landscape here. So what I'd like to do now is take a look at how we could create some of our own assets that we can use in a similar way in our environments in a game engine. So let's take a look. So if I look at the assets that we imported uh, last week into Unity uh, from a package that I found on the asset store, uh, you'll notice that there's actually a number of different textures in here uh, with uh, various flowers and grasses and that kind of thing. And I'm just taking a look at this because I wanted to see not only the format, and I um, noticed that these are PNG files, uh, but also, which it gives us the transparency, which is very important. I also wanted to look at the dimensions of them, and I'm noticing that they're 256 by 1024, or uh, 512 by 1024, uh, 512 by 1024 again with that one. So we're going to try to do something very similar uh, at similar dimensions and see how that works for us. And to do so, we're going to jump into Maya. So here we are in Maya, and uh, what we have available to us here are uh, what are called paint effects. And if I go to Generate, Get Brush, it'll take me to what is called the Content Browser, where we have, for instance, a lot of grasses that we can select from, as well as uh, flowers. And by picking these, we can paint in our 3D scene here and very quickly and very easily create what looks like some pretty nice um, vegetation here. Let's go ahead and render this out and see what it looks like. I'm going to render it out using Maya software. So we'll just quickly render it out and it looks nice. There's a nice looking dandelion. Now, what's fun about the paint effects in Maya is that we can actually design our own plants using, uh, using this technique. And that's what I've done. So I'm going to switch over to a file where I created my own custom flower. So here we are in Maya. Here is the flower that I created using the paint effects in Maya. Uh, if you want to know how to create trees, flowers, grasses, I've got videos available that show you those techniques, so I won't go into depth with them here. Um, but let's just take a look at some of my render settings before I actually render this uh, flower out to bring into Unity. So I'll go to my uh, render settings here. And what you'll notice is that I have my image size set to 512 by 1024. These were similar dimensions to some of the examples that I saw in Unity already. Uh, I am rendering to my perspective camera. It doesn't really matter which camera I choose to render for this anyway. Um, I have it set to PNG. Again, looking at the examples that were in Unity already, I noticed that they used a PNG. PNG is a format that comes with... Uh, transparency channel, so uh, that would be very useful. Uh, and then in my Maya software, I have the uh, quality set to uh, production quality. In addition, I've also enabled the um, resolution gate here so I can see where the borders are for my render. Let's go ahead and render this out. 
And here is the flower that I have rendered out. Uh, the important thing uh, to note here is that this will be the alpha channel. This is basically the, uh, the areas that are white will be opaque. The areas that are black should be uh, transparent if I save this as a uh, PNG. Okay, so I'll put it back in color. Go to File, Save Image. And I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can easily find it. We'll just call it uh, My Flower. And uh, I'm going to do the Color Managed Image. And we will change our uh, file type to PNG. And go ahead and save it. And that should be that. Let's go ahead and go uh, back into Unity and see if this works. So here we are back in Unity. And I'm going to go ahead and find that uh, flower that I just created and bring it into, uh, into my scene here. So let me just go to my assets and I'm going to see if there's a convenient place for me to put this. Uh, I think I'm actually going to create my own folder for assets that I create and maybe I'll just call it my vegetation in case I want to try out some other examples later on and we'll go ahead and import in that new asset I saved it to my desktop and let's see here it is my flower we'll go ahead and just import that in and there it is So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to come over to a different part of my environment where maybe I can um, paint these, uh, these flowers in here. Maybe just over here. I'm going to zoom out a little. Sometimes it's easier to just zoom out and then zoom back in to get to any particular area in your, uh, in your environment here. And we'll go ahead and come over here to, um, to this button here, which is the uh, Paint Details button. You can see that I have those flowers in here that I had added earlier in my uh, earlier video to my environment here, but we're going to create a new one. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, the Edit Details. We will add a grass texture. We've got our uh, detail texture here. Nothing is in here right now. So we'll go ahead and click on that and find the flower that I just created. Of course, we have a lot of other stuff in here because um, I brought in various packages, but here it is. Go ahead and add that. Uh, I am going to change this healthy color to, well, no, we'll go ahead and leave it like that for now and we'll just see what, uh, what happens. We'll just leave it uh, with the healthy color and dry color. Remember that these two colors actually are going to uh, somewhat override the colors that I had created in Maya, but that's okay. We'll just say add. Here it is. We'll select it and try painting it into our environment. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller and there they are. Let's check them out. Notice how they're always facing the camera. Let's go ahead and play this and see how they look. Come over here where we placed them. And you can see they're also swaying in this gentle breeze that we have going on here. And you can get a good idea of what's going on with the uh, color right now as well with them. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to that, um, that detail that we have there. Select it. We'll edit it. And I'm going to change this healthy color to white. And I'm also going to just change the dry color to white as well, just so that uh, I don't get any of these color overrides on, uh, on my flower here. So we'll go ahead and say apply and take a look at them again. And here they are.
Now, one thing about these flowers is that they look a bit squashed. So I'm going to select the flower again, go to the edit details. Uh, and we can take a look at some of its dimensions here. So right now we've got a min and max width of one and two, and a min height and a max height of one and two. I'm simply going to try changing that min height to a uh, higher number. Maybe we'll try two as well. Uh, you can see that that makes them look a little bit more like what we saw in Maya. And we'll go ahead and apply that. Maybe also we'll try uh, painting them in a little more uh, thickly. So let's see. What can we do there? We're not going to change the brush size. We could change the target strength. That puts them in there much more thickly. Maybe too, too much so, but for the sake of this uh, demo, that'll be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and play that and see how they look. And here they are. Anyway, as you can see, this could be a really fun way to create some of your own assets unique to your environments that you create uh, by using some of the skills perhaps that you have in Maya to create various grasses, flowers, etc., various vegetation uh, to really populate your environments in a game engine such as Unity. I uh, hope that this video is useful for you and thank you for watching.